Yes, I do. What? I take him. And I take Douglas as my son. And I take them as a family. Until death do us part. So cringe, but okay. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hello. What is up? My name is Nikki or Nicole or whatever you want to call me. I just stole the what is up from my sister. She says that, not me. But anyways, I took it so it's done. Sorry, Nana. She's not in the room right now, so. But today, I'm going to be doing a huge, huge haul. This is some stuff I've been collecting over time. It's not just stuff that, like, you know, I got up and got. And also, before you guys drag me for whatever price is in the title, because it's probably going to be a lot, um, most of these stuff were either sent to me or I had store credit from modeling from one of them. Like Teen Angel is something that I modeled for, not something, but like a brand that I modeled for. And I had some store credit from them, so I bought some stuff. Um, honestly, the only things that were bought with like my own money are probably like two things, and one of them my mom bought for me. But yeah, so this haul includes stuff from Dolls Kill, um, Teen Angel, Drip Creations, Zara, and PacSun. But I also vlogged a little today because today is actually when I shopped at Teen Angel and PacSun. And PacSun was in the mall, so I actually vlogged like me at the mall with my mom and my sister. So I will insert those clips now. And this is also the day, this day, that I hit 200k! My dad's cheap. But yeah, so before I play the vlog clip of me, my mom, and my sister at the mall, I just want to say thank you so much for 200,000 Nicksters. I just imagine glitter, but I don't think I know how to do that. But the crazy thing is, like, I started YouTube a long time ago, and it took a lot to really, like, start getting subscribers, but then once I really did, it kind of just took off, and it really took off last year, honestly, because last year was the time I went to Tokyo, last year was the time that I did my freshman year um, vlog, I'm pretty sure, either 2018 or 2017. I don't know exactly, but, like, it just went really fast. Like, as soon as people really discovered me, discovered my personality, I just, like, met more people who really appreciate my personality and who are similar to me which is you guys like you guys literally understand my humor understand my stupidness sometimes I don't even make sense but you guys get all my stupid jokes that aren't really funny but are funny to me and then sometimes it's funny to you because you get me like I don't even know what I'm saying I'm being dumb <laughs> so so much because honestly like wow 200,000 subscribers like this started with you know my sister helping me out like being like giving me video ideas and who would have thought that like after all this time we would come up with all I think I posted over hundreds of videos now and those hundreds of videos of us two working together because it's not just me obviously obviously it involves you know like me filming and me editing but like my sister helps me a lot with ideas helps me sometimes with um, filming tons and tons of my videos my mom be finna hyping me ah! You guys be hyping me up like keep on wanting me to post like if you guys didn't like my videos Okay, I would still post like let's be real. I would still post but like you guys also are motivation in a way Because like now when I miss some postings, I'm like, oh my gosh, no, I want to post like I want to have comments and talk to you guys in the comments Because if I don't post that's another upload that I'm missing of a chance to like have time to talk to you guys I can't even breathe. Do you hear this? But I don't know, I hope you guys understand everything that I'm saying. But the main thing is, I'm so, so grateful that, like, after all the hard work that has gone into this channel, where it started as something to do, like, randomly, because little old me in elementary wanted to be cool and have a YouTube channel, and then realized, wait, this is actually fun, because editing is actually something I really love, and I used to do so many skits because it was similar to acting, and that's what I wanted to do since ever acting. And then YouTube was a way to kind of do it, but also to be my Self, and then it just started to grow and become actually something to do as more than a hobby like honestly it's still my hobby that I'm doing it because I still love it but then to be also to make like a career out of this like I get to go to beauty con I get to get all these free clothes sent to me just to review brands for you guys to get like an honest review I get to do all these like crazy things that has become like a job like a business like a career and lead to like more things in my life after something being started as something fun to do as a tiny little child on an iPod touch fifth generation. It was <laughs> so okay, let me stop talking before someone's like this is a haul. What am I listening to this for? But thank you so much. I've been talking for six minutes. Hopefully I can cut this down so that people don't cook off. But thank you so so much and now cue the mall vlog of me, my mom and my sister at the mall buying some stuff for this haul and then we'll get onto the haul. You can skip the vlog if you want to. You can just go right there if it's really bothering you that much. But it was a cute vlog and you see me hit the 200 k so <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so hey guys, so you guys saw that we were at Teen Angel. Um, they're a brand that I modeled, modeled, wow. modeled. I modeled for way back in the day. Don't go look for those pictures because those were my not best modeling days. But um, so yeah, I had some store credit left over that I never used as my compensation for modeling for them. So I went to go pick up some, oh, I didn't open the doors for them. My bad. I went to go pick on, um, pick on. Um, I want to go pick up some free stuff because you know well, it's not free it's like my payment <laughs> and then after that now we're here at the african store at least that's what we call it it's actually called like super mercado or something it's like an african and spanish store and we got all of these plantain chips i'm having a salty one right now mommy and nana are having sweet ones but yeah so now we're headed to the mall to look for some more stuff and i'm gonna actually vlog well at the mall so you guys can see me shopping but i'm not gonna show you guys me try anything on until i am home so that you guys can watch the try on portion of this video Nice to have a sweet one. So yeah, but I'll still vlog me at the mall so that you guys can kind of get used to me vlogging again because there's gonna be a lot of vlogs coming with these moving vlogs. Mm -hmm. And we're going to a whole bunch of places. Um, you guys already know that we're going to LA. And we are also going to... I'll bleep it out until we decide if we have the official dates, you know? But yeah, so now we're headed to the mall. So I'll just get some B-roll of us heading up to the mall. Mm -hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay guys, so we are now at the mall and we're going down to find wherever I can find some nice jeans. That is what I'm looking for and I'll just vlog whatever we do find for a little bit. Stop. Wait, why is the battery low? Battery's low. We gotta go. Okay, now we're going home, guys. So I'll see you when we're doing the haul. Wow, you don't want to be in it? Mm -hmm. hey. So yeah, so we're done with the mall. I got one thing after that whole hours, but I'll see you guys at home for this try and haul. Oh my gosh, wait. Okay, so we just opened the phone and I hit 200K! We hit 200K. Oh my God. We are 200K family. Okay, so now you are post vlog of today and now I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I got and I'm going to try everything on. Okay, so first we're going to start off with shoes because I got a whole bunch of shoes. Like, if you know me, you know I don't really have lots of variety of shoes. Like, I got my flip flops, I got my one sneakers and that's like basically it because a lot of stuff don't fit me anymore. Like, I used to have way more shoes back in the day. Okay, so first two pairs of shoes I got are from Drip Creations. They have an Instagram page and you've probably seen a bunch of your favorite creators like wearing them. And if you're wondering where they get those shoes from, it's probably Drip Creations because they have a whole bunch of shoes. So I got these in a size seven and a half, women seven and a half, men six, I believe. And they're just regular white Air Force Ones um, customized to have three butterflies on the right shoe and two butterflies on the left shoe. And I really love these. I did not know how comfortable Air Force Ones are. They kind of like my Skechers. I love my Skechers, but they definitely needed to be replaced. So these have been replaced them and then these are the second customized Air Force ones that I got I've been wearing all of the stuff though that I'm about to show in the haul except for the two stuff that I got obviously at the mall but yeah so they're super comfortable I'm already loving them I get a ton of compliments anytime I wear either of these shoes like today I wore these to the mall and I got um, a compliment from a girl in PacSun also at the mall so many people like I, I'm not trying to be like so many people need, but like <laughs> but like a lot of people recognize me but nobody was saying hi like if you guys watch my videos can you please say hi to me and make me look cool in the mall like hey Nikki <laughs> no but like some of it was kind of creepy though because there was like one whole group of people that literally followed me back and forth like they I was in a store they were like walking back and I was kind of feeling like I was being hunted down <laughs> so it's so much easier if you guys just be like hey I know who you are because a lot of times I heard almost every time except for I'm not sure about the people that were like kind of following me but my sister said she heard them say um YouTube but like everybody else said oh my gosh she's from YouTube 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 you hear it all the time, and like I I can hear y'all <laughs> like just say hi to me and we can be like hey but yeah so that was just a side note but anyways these are the other Air Force ones that I have they're just blue and purple like flames like I don't know if they're purple 
I think it's dark blue to light blue, but these are so cute too, and they're also Air Force Ones. So shout out to Jif Creations for sending those to me. This is their Instagram, but go check them out for some custom shoes. They have different stuff too. They don't just have Air Force Ones. They have like Vans. I don't know my shoe terminology, okay? But they have other shoes and other designs. Okay, so now the rest of the shoes that I got are all from Dolls Kill. So after I show you guys the shoes from Dolls Kill, I'm also gonna show you guys the clothes I got from them, which is almost everything on this wrap. Okay, so first shoes I got from them are these super cute slide-on shoes. They gave me such Tokyo vibes because the shoes that I wore a lot in Tokyo, like the room slippers kind of even look like this. Like a popular style in Tokyo is like having slide-in shoes. So I got these in blue. I don't know if they had other colors. This is from their Delia's line. Um, you can see they're a bit tight. Don't tell my mama because she was like, I know you're gonna order so small and then I did. The rest of them I ordered in like a 38 European and they were perfectly fine. I think I just should have gone a size up because these are supposed to like hang out. And then the next shoes that I got from Dolls Kill are these ones. These are super popular. Um, They're like super high platform Converse like sneaker type shoes. And I really, really like them. They're super comfortable, actually. Like, you'd think maybe they're not, but they really are. I've worn them with this outfit before, but yeah. And they have this, like, holographic little strip. Like, I don't know if you... Yeah, you can see. And it has, like, rainbow reflective in it. And this is also from the Delia's line. Most of the stuff that I got from Dolls Kill is from the Delia's line because I really like it. It's so much cuter. Because Dolls Kill also has some, like, pretty grown stuff. Like, I can't even lie. Like, they sell a lot of lingerie and it's, like... Where am I going to wear that to? So I really like the Delia's line. It's so much more young, cute, girly, teen aesthetic-y. And then the last shoes that I got from Dolls Kill are these platform shoes. They're so cute. They're rainbow. Um, but they focus more on the pink in the rainbow. Or the red. Okay, so now on to the dresses and stuff that I got from Dolls Kill. Most of it is dresses. I have like one set. But now I'll be really trying to get it on because I wasn't really going to try on shoes because I wouldn't have gotten a nice angle. Okay, so first item from Dolls Kill. I am obsessed with this dress, guys. I've worn this so many times. It is so, so cute. It doesn't look like it really cinches anywhere, but it kind of cinches at the waist and then it's like flowy. And it's so cute. It has um, little puffy arms. It can be worn off the shoulder or on the shoulder is what I noticed, but I kind of like it on the shoulder. Next this dress is also a yellow dress so it's all the way buttoned to the bottom and it's ruffled at the top and it can also be worn off the shoulder or on the shoulder and it's super cute i got this in a size small i think i got all the dresses in a size small because all the models were super tall and i was much shorter than them like i'm five six and i think a lot of the models were like five nine so i was like a small should fit me if it can fit them right and then it has like three little lines in the back um i will be honest and say dolls kills on the pricier side but i have to really admit their quality oh, yeah, is so so nice like i was really hoping this wouldn't be some like cloth because like you know like the cloth that starts developing little um things that you can like pick them off i don't know what it's called like cotton balls like mini cotton balls like that's the bad quality like this can be kept for years and it won't develop those things like that's what kind of quality this is is how i can explain it but yeah so they're definitely on the pricier side but if you're looking to like spend for long term or you just got that moolah then i definitely recommend them they're kind of like a okay so i saw brandy melville in the mall and i did not know how expensive they are so they're kind of like brandy melville but a little more expensive because they're not as basic basic sounds so mean but like honestly brandy melville's cute i just think they're really expensive I never saw them before except for at the mall today. Also, next thing I got from Dolls Kill is this silk blue dress um, or satin, I think it's more like. And it has this like fuzzy hem at the bottom. Um, I really like it, but to be honest, I don't know what happened here because look at the straps. This is how adjustable straps are supposed to be where you can, you know, adjust them. Like it's two straps, it can go up or down. But this one, it's literally like messed up. So there was definitely a factory mistake here, um, but it's okay. This is definitely more like a girls night slumber party type of thing. Like having a self care day, you know, like this is not probably to go out just cause how short it is. Next thing I got is this super cute white dress. It is so cute. It has little like flower detailing embroidery. And it ties at the chest too. And this one actually does like need to be tied or else it's like open because there's like a little hole. And it can also be worn off the shoulder or on the shoulder, but I think it looks better on the shoulder. I like everything on the shoulder, honestly. But yeah, so it's super cute and stretchy. This is like a beach day kind of outfit or honestly like a LA summer day outfit. A. Next thing I got is this two piece set. It comes with like a bandeau and then a really long flowy pants set. And also has pants on the inside too. I don't know if you can really see, but it does. And then it also comes with this like belt. So yeah, but it's super cute and it's really nice. I've worn this once 
before. Okay, so next thing is this pink dress and it's also, I believe, off the shoulder. I think everything can be worn off the shoulder or on the shoulder with all the dresses that I got. But it stretches in the back so you could probably fit into it if you have a bigger chest because it can probably stretch. And it has a zipper on the side for you to fit into it because at first I was like, how is this supposed to fit into this? Like, next thing, I really felt like being bougie. So I picked this up. This is a huge jacket. It has pink fur all around the hems of everything. At the bottom, there's pink fur. At the hems of the arms, there's pink fur. At the nape of the neck, there's pink fur. And it's designed with like some super cute like roses and flowers. Um, it definitely gives me also Tokyo vibes. And it has pockets, my friends. It has pockets. And the way it closes is with this little um, button situation. This was definitely like a lot of my jackets back in the day. But yeah, so you just like put it through the loop and then it's closed. But yeah, I really like this. It's super bougie. I don't know where I'm gonna wear it to, but I feel like it's good to have a bougie piece once in a while just to whip out anytime. Are you interrupting me at work? That's wake up thing. <laughs> just kidding, but my mommy is right. I could definitely wear this at LA, but the thing is, we got tickets last minute, so I don't know where this is gonna fit in my baggage. And then next is the super cute like lilac purple dress. It's like a pastel -y purple. It is super, super cute. I really like it. It's buttoned down all the way, ruching at the ends of everything, except for the bottom of the dress, so it's just like around the arms. And then it has like an under boob kind of situation. A lot of the um, other dresses have like the under wiring, but it's not a wire, it's just like a stitching. So it's definitely comfortable. And yeah. Last thing I got from them is this little mini backpack. I've been using this all the time. Like I use it today. It is so cute. And now that I've like had it for a bit, it's become like much softer, you know, like it just works with me. But yeah, so it has um, buttons right there. So this is the first like magnetic button that you close it. And then another magnetic button where you close it in the front. She's closed, you see. And then you wear her like so. We can give a little live try on haul. Feel me. But yeah, so it's so cute. You can adjust the straps, obviously. I hope my strap wasn't twisted, sorry. And sometimes like I just do a little purse action, like I'm just holding it right here, you feel me? Like, oh, about to check out. Oh, and then also before you actually like button it, you can tighten it with the straps, of course, of course, of course. But let's do a little what's in my bag. So I have my Scentbird perfume, because I actually like them. Scentbird, sponsor me again, please. I have a purse my phone because my phone is dead <laughs> and then my lip gloss that we got from the beauty supply store oh should i do a little mini beauty supply store haul oh, okay mini beauty supply store in a haul okay so i got a whole bunch of those lipsticks the coconut and the rose ones um i got the duo strip lash that you guys actually recommended to me Hi. see i listened to y'all there she is this is the duo strip lash adhesive and I got the clear one because I feel like if I did the black one, I'd probably be really messy. And this dry is clear, so that's just seems better to me. So yes, um, it was $6.99 online, but I finessed it for $4.99 at the beauty supply store. And I only did that because I probably could have finessed it for even cheaper, I bet. But I don't know when we're going to have time to go shopping again, whenever. But thank you guys for the recommendation. I'm definitely going to try it out. And whenever I do makeup or something or lashes in the next video that I do, I will let you guys know how I like it. So thank you for recommending that to me. And then I also got two hair dyes for a future video. I don't know when I'll be filming this video, but I just had a good video idea, so I'll be doing that whenever, so. But that was my mini beauty supply store haul inside of my haul, so it's still part of the haul, so yeah. Okay, so now I finished with Doll's Kill and on to, let's do Zara, because I have one thing from Zara. It's right here. So actually, um, there's not very many Zaras in my area. There isn't a Zara in my area, I don't think. It's all the way in Miami, and if you guys have saw my Instagram, my Instagram story, I'm trying to be more active on there so please y'all don't sleep on me on my stories but yeah so if you guys saw my story you would have known that i've been in miami in and out so much this past weeks 
because I filmed a short movie, a short film. Um, I don't know when it's going to be out. It'll probably be um, submitted into festivals and stuff like that. But I don't know when. I don't know what's the sitch. If I can like tell people to come and watch it at the festival, you know. But yeah, so I've been in and out of there. And along the way, one of our locations or one of our, I think it was in a location. I think it was actually a read-through. Was around Aventura Mall. So we went to go to, oh no, that was actually for an audition. One of my auditions was near um, Aventura Mall. So we actually stopped there and they had a Zara and it was actually a Zara by where we were doing our read throughs but like we didn't get this from there my mom got stuff but I didn't but this is from the um Zara and Aventura Mall um Zara has been doing huge sales I don't know if they're still going on but don't sleep on Zara guys if you never heard of Zara Zara is bomb and when, when they have sales they have sales okay on good quality stuff so this is what i picked from zara it is this like yellow picnic dress i don't really know if you guys can see you guys will see it better in the try and haul um it was on sale i only saw one left so i picked it i just think it's super cute like i really like dresses now and i want to have more stuff to like wear out on cute little breakfast or like going around you know sitting at a coffee shop and like editing like i feel like this is such a cute like editing dress coffee shop dress i don't drink coffee i'll probably order water or tea but yeah, I think it's so cute. It is just so like vintage vibes, except for it has this cut. But the cut makes it really cute too. The cut had like a little threading, so you know me, I was trying to get a discount, but they weren't giving me a discount. But yeah, so super cute, vintage vibes, really love it. Um, I got it on sale for $9.99. But yeah, so this is the thing that my mom actually got for me, but I'm still including it as my haul because it's mine. Thanks, Mommy. She's over here watching me. I have my live audience crowd. <laughs> Okay, I might as well include this in the haul since um, it's something that I just got in the mail today. Um, I got a whole bunch I ripped it. I mean, I wasn't gonna keep it anyways, let me shut up. I got a whole bunch of scrunchies. I actually got a 36 pack, but I counted, and they gave me 40 instead. So yeah, these were like $8.99 on Amazon. And I'm gonna use it to film the scrunchies, pick my outfit video. So whoever's still watching this video, now you guys know what's up, what I'll be filming. But yeah, so I got all those. There is 40 in there. Okay, so next store I went to is Teen Angel. I believe they're only local to like Florida. They have one in like Coral Springs and Delray. Okay, so I'll show you guys the first thing that I'm not gonna try on though, obviously, because this was for my mom. I had store credit from them, and um, this actually fit her nicely, so I just got that because I was trying to get the most with the store credit that I had, and they were doing a buy one, get one for free. So this is what I got for my mom. It's this black so bodysuit. But yeah, it's super cute on her, and that's that. I'm not gonna try that on because it doesn't fit me. It wasn't for me. Okay, so I'm also not gonna try this on because I have nothing to try it on with. It's just for when I do have an outfit that needs a bralette. And then the next two things that I actually got from them which are the last two things I actually really really like so it's this um like little feathery dress it honestly feels pretty cheap can't even lie um it's not like it's it's actually pretty soft it's just not it's not that like bougie material like expensive material you know it looks like it though so like just don't touch me yeah, back up <laughs> but yeah so this is super cute it kind of makes me look wider in my waist than I am and then the last thing I got is a skirt and it really shapes my body like it gives me a good shape it's just nice and fitting okay so that's all that I got from Teen Angel and then the next thing that I got and I think this is the last thing that I got in this haul is from PacSun so this is what I got at the mall today I got these denim jeans and I ended up just picking them because I didn't spend any money on any of these clothes. So I was like, I guess I can kind of go all out on these jeans. They were $40. Um, it was technically supposed to be 38 the tax. So I spent 40 painful dollars on these jeans. But it's honestly worth it because honestly, go to any store. You will not find like these quality jeans. Like you have to search and search and search. When I tell you the whole time we were at the mall was to look for jeans. The only reason the jeans weren't good is because of the texture. Nowadays, all of the jeans we have in like those jegging textures and those run out so like easily, like they wear out so easily is what I mean. And they start to fade and they start to like develop holes and it's so ugly and nasty and not like good looking. Like these are the good jeans. Like do you see how they don't like get lighter at the knees? And they're thick. Like this is what I look for in a jean. Like I don't want that ugly thing where like the, knee, the knees um, become like white because they want to do some type of ombre. Like no. And this is like thick like this is like almost men's pants thickness like it basically is but like framed to a more like feminine body like these are the jeans like these are the jeans like Paxson did good I would have gotten more jeans but then this was the cheapest one and it was 38 everything else was like 58 and I was like oh no because tax 60 
two jeans, 120. Two jeans, no thank you. Deuces. So yeah, I just picked these and I think it's actually a really good investment. I'm going to wear these for a long time. These are the type to last you a long, long time. And it looked really good with the Air Force One, so I am very happy. Okay, so that was my haul. I just want to say thank you again for 200,000 subscribers. I'm so, so appreciative. I want you guys to like keep giving me video ideas, what you want to see from me, so we can continue to have a bomb connection and grow larger and stronger. Because I, I really noticed that like talking to you guys more and being more of my random self which like I always am, but I haven't been vlogging and vlogging is where I used to kind of be my random self. But I realized I can be my random self in like all of my videos and I've started to talk more to you guys. And like we've been talking about Area 51, aliens, mermaids, all this random shenanigans in all my videos recently. And I'm just loving it. Like we're having the most random conversations. So you know, just keep giving me more advice, so, like videos you want to see from me, more topics you want me to talk about. And yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing this haul. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I feel like I've been stressing my voice out this video. I'm so sorry if it's so extra. I think it's because I'm standing. Standing gives me way more energy and I feel like I can't breathe. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, share with your friends, comment something funny, comment your favorite part. And follow me on my social medias which are always in the description i have everything like whatever you have follow me on that and yes yeah, so that's all i have to say so bye nikki out